Rise and shine like the star you are. Come on, sweetie, let's make some magic together. Good morning and a happy check-in day. Ah! It's here, it's happening. I check in to my Disney cultural representative program today. I don't even know like where to start. So I gave myself like two hours, two and a half hours-ish to get ready. That should be more than enough time. I just wanted to make sure I had enough time because I didn't want to be like, I wanted to be like 100% good to go ready. Um, I'm going to check what time the quick service opens because I want coffee. 7 a.m. Okay, so why don't we do my makeup and then we can go get coffee and breakfast. Okay, I like that idea. Actually, we should turn on some Mickey cartoons. I will say though, I slept like the dead last night, which is wonderful. Okay, make up three, two, one. Let's go see what we can do for breakfast. I'm thinking Mickey waffles. Last walk for coffee. Check-in breakfast of champions. We got my Mickey waffles, we got my milk, coffee, apple slices, we're ready to go. It is 7.30 and my goal is to be out of here by like 8.20 at the latest. My check-in time is 9.10 but it says to be there a half hour beforehand and I think that's because I drop my stuff off at west and then I have to actually have to check in at east because I'm living at west. Um, so I think I have to do, I think that's why I have to get there so early. Um, I know if I'm like late it's not gonna be a huge deal I don't want to be late though I would love to check in early and kind of get my start on the day but breakfast was good I'm just gonna brush my teeth finish up my hair and then we can pack the luggage I got a luggage cart I just asked nicely at the front desk and she was like yeah sure I'll get you one um, which is nice because originally I was gonna call Bell Services but I always find it so awkward when they're like loading your bags I'm like yes you can do all the work for me um, I find it really awkward so I'm gonna do it myself. <laughs> um, yeah, I've been seeing people with them all week, so um, I just asked and they were like, yeah, sure. So I'll get there, but yes, hair, um, I'm gonna wave it and then put it in a clip because I know it's gonna be hot as heck, but I would like it down for my ID photo and to look nice, so that's why it's gonna be waved in the clip. Um, and I'm gonna do my bangs in that too. As someone who has done this too many times now, my biggest tip for check-in day is to wear running shoes. Not Crocs, not your new running shoes, like worn in, comfortable sneakers that you can like do a lot of stuff in um, because you will be walking a lot and you'll be lifting your suitcases. When you bring your suitcases, it's going to be hot. You just want comfortable shoes. It's 8.10, so I have about five minutes to just finish up my coffee here, do a double check of the room, make sure I have everything, and then head out the door. Um, yeah, I forgot to leave out any sort of like lip balm or gloss or like anything, so we're just going dry normal lips today, I guess. Um, or for now, at least, until we get into my check-in and all that. Let's go, it's time. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to vlog the next part just because of how much stuff I have. So um, I might not see you until we're like in the Uber or waiting. I, I'm not gonna vlog the walkover and we'll see what happens when I actually get to Flamingo. Um, obviously we're vlogging the day still, but um, the actual moving of the luggage part 
might be a lot. <laughs> there we go. Uber requested and on the way. <sighs> luggage dropped off. So I just dropped off my luggage. Um, I had to ask, like, they just like thought I knew where I was going, which I did not, which was kind of odd, but. Um, yeah, where everything was like super easy once I figured out what was happening. Um, and now we're good to go off to East to check in there, even though I'm living at West. Thank you. And we're back. Okay, we're at East. Um, so let's go get to the gate and get in line. It looks like there's a little bit of a line to check. ID photo and now I'm just waiting in line to get my key. <sighs> I'm sweaty but I think I'm the first one here. <sighs> it's an empty apartment. Let's find my room. I'm in room D. I think it's this one. A, B. Nope. That's A, B. So C, D. C, D. Wow, this is so different from last year, the layout and everything. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is my room. It's wonderful. This is the same kind of room I had last year, which is perfect. Lots of space. Looks good. Fan on high already. It's hot. Bathroom, sink area. Make sure everything works. Where's the light? I don't even remember. There we go. Whew. I don't know which one I want. I could pick. We got towel racks, shower. It's not the cleanest, but it'll do. We're going to scrub everything anyway. Medicine cabinet thing up there, trash can. We didn't get a trash can or any of the plunger stuff last year. Half toilet paper roll. <sighs> Wash a dryer. We're going to have to clean the floor. Um, well, there's spots on the floor, but they're not bugs. Food cabinets, four of them. Fridge is cold. Not too bad of a size either. This I would like. So you can go up there. But whatever. Here we are. 75, no freaking way. Okay, so I'm taking apart the furniture, like last year, for sure. This comes out the low drawer storage unit, and I'm gonna try to use that as a nightstand. I'm going to Target. Do I know where I'm going? Absolutely not. Um, I'm kind of lost in Flamingo right now. A little disoriented. I see the pool though, so I'm just gonna head that way. But I'm gonna go to the small little Target today because I do have an appointment at two o'clock that I have to get to for my onboarding. Um, and then, yeah, so I literally just kind of organized a couple things. It's like 
10.30 right now, I think. So I'm gonna go to Target, um, rent a wagon, go to the community center for the first time. Then we can focus on unpacking and everything before we leave it too. Starting the iconic DCP shopping trip with Five Below. Uh, mainly just like a hamper, some decor stuff. My sunglasses are falling off my face, but now it's Target time. $142 later, we are wheeling back. Okay, we're back. I am so gross and sweaty. We're gonna have to clean up before we go for my photo ID thing. Um, everything's a mess. I still have the wagon here and I got some stuff. Um, the apartment stuff I put away. This is just the stuff for my room now. But I think we're finally gonna start like actually getting into putting everything together because I don't, I have like another hour before I have to even think about going over to East. So far for the first floor room, uh, the verdict is two cockroaches, an ant nest in the kitchen, and a very large spider that is, was on my suitcase but is now dead. It is, it's 20 to one. So I'm just gonna get my lanyard organized because it was not organized earlier. So when I checked in, they gave us a little plastic card, obviously our room key. Um, we also got a little, I'm celebrating my Disney program button, which is really cute. I've never gotten one of those before. And a lanyard, so I'm in West in one of the Iago buildings. So that's who I got on my lanyard, except I did bring my aerial one and I think I'm gonna keep using that one. But I'm gonna set up the Iago one for now because I have no idea where my aerial one is. And I am starting to get a little concerned for the weather. It's getting a little dark out there. But we're going over to East now. <laughs> okay, that took like an hour and a half to do the onboarding. I did make some friends though. Um, so Christina and Sebastian, their uh, brother and sister are doing the program. They're from Colombia and they're the sweetest and I love them. Um, they like exchange contacts, so we'll hopefully get in touch later. I'm looking for building nine. I don't even know which building that is, but I'm gonna pick up the hangers from some girl who had them for free, so I'm gonna go find that mess. A huge mess, but I'm down to one suitcase and I got hangers for the clothes now, so we're on the way. Um, which is so exciting. So because I'm the only Canadian arriving today, we didn't get to do the whole like all the Canadians go to the Polynesian to watch the fireworks, but like I still need to participate in the tradition. So I'm here and we got Lay's and we like low-key kind of matched our outfits unintentionally. We kind of look a little ridiculous, it's kind of hilarious. Um, but we're gonna get food because I literally did not eat lunch today and I'm so hungry. There's no seats in the restaurant. So we are sitting out here. Brayden just went to get ranch. Um, but we got, he got wings and I got a pork sandwich. That's crispy. You're tasting them on the vlog. Oh, okay. So I got the spiked, what was it called? Pine, pineapple, spiky, spiky pineapple. pineapple. Yes, that was it. We'll pretend I can read from here. We went to Trader Sam's little bar thingy because inside there was a three hour wait. And then Brayden got, what did you get? <laughs> Okay. Skipper Sipper. Which is this one? It looks good. Okay, go for it. Strong? I can smell it from here. Oh my goodness, that's strong. This is delicious. Yeah. Is it just straight pineapple? Don't try it. 
It literally doesn't taste like alcohol at all. It tastes like a Dole Whip slushy. I like it. <laughs> Approved. Content, baby content. This is so peaceful. We got the water pageants. Yeah. I made a new friend, so this is Belle, and she watches the videos, and now she's in one. I feel very honored right now. My little float. <laughs> we all got dual lips, um, so cheers, cheers to a program yes. starting. And I'm gonna eat them up, and then honestly, probably call it a night because it's gonna be another early morning tomorrow, and then traditions on Wednesday. And that's a wrap on night one. So thank you so much for watching, and have a magical rest of your day.